Hi guys, okay, so today uh, I'm out testing my uh, Mini Crossbro Tracker uh, for the first time. So I've got the plane loitering above me and I've got it tracking as you can see. So the plane is circling around, got it at 60 meters altitude and a 60 meters radius. So the plane's just coming around now up here and you see the tracker's following it. When it gets to 360 degrees, the tracker reverses round and then picks up the plane again, then continues to follow, so that's pretty cool. So the way I've got it set up at the moment is I'm just using the standard Telefly Tiny module which connects to the, uh, the GPS in the plane. So it's got a wire from the TX of the GPS that connects into the module that then transmit the GPS coordinates for the tracker via the VTX signal. Um, that's probably the simplest way to set it up. I, I'm, I am looking to use Mavlink from the Crossfire uh, and use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi if that's developed fairly soon. So. But I want to come out and test it now and see uh, what difference it makes to going a little bit further out in terms of long range. The signal at the moment on the monitor, which I can show you, um, is, uh, is amazing. Um, normally I get a little bit of break up when I go behind me, but um, I'm getting a crystal clear image. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the plane. It's up there. It's coming around now. The track has gone reversed. So yeah, um, and uh, what we've got to got on the tracker here is the number of satellites that it's got and the azimuth uh, and the altitude. So uh, yeah, um, all seems to be working well. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a push out and see what happens and then we'll go for a little bit longer range and see what the signal's like on a long distance. Okay. Okay, let's launch the plane. GoPro start video. So start the DVR. Okay, we've got the, uh, the 5200 milliamp hour battery in there. Let's uh, push out straight away. Get it up to about 120 meters. And we'll push out. Yeah, we're all good. Pop it into cruise. Lower the throttle. So I'm running the cruise at 35% throttle. I was aiming for pulling about six amps with the tune that I've got it on at the moment. So okay, so auto throttle at 35, 6.3 amps. Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, so we're at two kilometers distance. Looking good. Signal nice and clear. We'll break up. So I am only two and a half kilometers. What we're going to do is we're going to push out in that direction and then we're going to do a, a left turn and 
I'm going to bank around and see if it tracks. So we're at 4.1 kilometres right now. And we're pushing out. That's good. My goggles are off the ground. Keep that DVR rolling. Okay. 5.4 kilometers out. A bit of turbulence. Bank back towards the coast. We're going to fly that gap down those fields between those two villages. So with my old antenna, when I used to cross this road here, I was getting some quite serious breakup and having to adjust the antenna quite a lot. It's still looking good. It's starting to get dark. So we're at 8.6 kilometers. And we can see the river or the estuary ahead. Yeah, a little bit of break up here, not too serious. Pushing 10 kilometers. So you'll notice that I've got my OSD uh, lines raised, so I've got like the bottom four, three or four lines clear. Uh, apparently with the tracker, um, that's to make sure that the, the tracking data that's being embedded into the VTX signal with this BBI protocol is not being interfered with by the INAV OSD elements. So I've kept that clear. Uh, always get a bit of a wobble here. There's power station, not sure if it's emitting something. Okay, so that's 10 kilometers out and looking good. So what I want to do now is I want to swing it round and fly up the river a little bit to make sure the tracker keeps on it. So we're going to fly up here. We're going to kind of do a loop into that field and then back. And now we're flying compared to where I'm standing left to right. And uh, we're only doing 46 kilometers an hour. The screen still looking really clear. The tracker, well, it should be tracking. Tiny bit of break up, so we're at 11.1 kilometers. Flying up the coast. Arc it in a little bit now. 
towards the shore. Let's see what it's saying on the actual tracker itself. On the data on the tracker. Fifteen satellites. Water 117 metres altitude. An azimuth of 42. Only a 2% V-link, 10%, 11%, okay, need to bank around here to avoid this village. Don't fly over any buildings. Tracker is not moving, but I'm not sure if it's because it doesn't need to. V-link of two percent. Zero percent, so it's losing V-link. The picture's still good, so... Fifty five per cent lipo. Break up to a two per cent V link. Fourteen percent, two percent, kind of all over the place. Come on, move. Let's get past these villages and then I can really move it quite a lot to the right. Plane's left, my right, as I'm looking at the plane. My village where I live. Let's just bank it. Oh. So we should be pushing out the tra tracker's beam by going this way. Okay, so I'm going to keep the plane to the left of this road. I'm going to take it out of return to home. Keep the plane to the left of this road. We're definitely going to be moving out the tracker's beam then. But obviously we've got the Omni on there. It's uh, diversity, so... Maybe that's why we're still getting a reasonable signal. To the left. More to the left. Stop it into cruise there. Cruise mode. Ninety meters. Okay, so the the tracker is definitely not pointing at the plane. Sure, the beam can't be that wide. A 
Let's bring it towards home. Okay. That clump of trees by the road that is really kind of to my to my right. Oh shit, it's getting really dark. I'm going to fly to the left, and right behind me. There's no way that tracker is pointing at that plane. Maybe it is. Wow, it's getting so dark. I'm going to have to land and come back and do some tests on another day. Put it into return to home and let it loiter and then return to launch. You can watch the tracker and see if it. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah, it has moved. It is, it is tracking. It's just maybe it's just so subtle until it gets quite close. Yeah, it's tracking. Tracking nicely. Yep, tracking nicely. And the picture on the monitor it's really good probably can't see it in this camera phone but really good that's a nice nice nighttime shot of it tracking Right, let's get this thing on the ground.